algebra students, quick little video about interval notation. This is just an easy way, it, it's another way of writing inequalities. So let's take an inequality, for example, x, my, x is less than 4, okay? Now usually the way that I like to think about this is to go from our traditional inequality to interval notation, I like to stop along the way and draw a number line because it actually, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it, it makes it a little easier. So x is less than 4, what would this look like on a number line? Well, I've got 4 right there, and uh, I'm going to put a circle there. I'm not going to fill it in, because if I filled it in, that would mean that x is less than or equal to 4, and it's not. It's just less than, strictly less than. And less than means it's in this direction. It's going that way on the number line. Interval, no interval notation looks kind of like the number line. What you do is you say x, and you do a little symbol like this, that means it's in this interval. So x is in this interval. It's going to be the interval that goes from, now, what's the furthest left of our number line? Negative infinity. So from negative infinity to 4. And I'll say negative infinity to 4, and I'll put some parentheses around there. OK? It's kind of a bad infinity looking. OK, there we go. So traditional inequality, number line, interval notation. Let's look at another one. Let's take x is greater than or equal to negative 12. Okay? Greater than or equal to negative 12. Again, we have our number line. I'll put a negative 12 here. This time, I'm going to fill it in because of that or equal to there. So I'm going to fill in the negative 12, and it's greater than. Big numbers go on the right. So I'm going to shade over on this side. And that's my number line. So now, how do I write this as an interval? I would say x is in the interval from negative 12 to positive infinity, so infinity. And this time, instead of parentheses, I'm going to put a parenthesis here on infinity. But for negative 12, it includes negative 12. So I'm going to put a bracket there, OK? So on the first one, when 4 wasn't part of my solution set, I put a parenthesis there to say 4 is not included. But on this one, where 12, negative 12 is part of my solution set, I put a bracket there to say, yes, make that part of it. So the or equal to corresponds with the filled in dot, corresponds with the bracket. Let's look at another one. 3 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 7. OK? Well, here's my number line. And uh, this time I've got two numbers to put on the number line, 3 and 7. So I'll put a 3 here and a 7 here. And I'll put little circles on each of them. The 3 is not included in my solution set. It's on the outside. 7 is included, so I'm going to shade in the 7. And I'm going to shade in in between there. So 3 is greater than, 3 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 7, is written like this on our number line. So interval notation, we're going to say it goes from 3 to 7. So x is in the interval from 3 to 7. I'm going to put a parenthesis there, and I'm going to put a bracket there to say include 7 but don't include 3. Let me give you one more. This last one says x is less than 2, sorry, less than negative 2, or x is greater than or equal to 2. OK? So x is less than negative 2, or x is greater than or equal to 2. Again, let's have our number line there. I've got a negative 2 and a 2 this time. OK? All right, well, x is less than negative 2 means we're shading it over here. These are all the numbers that are less than negative 2. Greater than or equal to 2, well, first of all, if it's equal to, I can shade that in. And greater than means over here. So we actually have two separate regions of the number line that we're, that we're uh, uh, shading in there. That means for interval notation, we're going to have to have two separate intervals 
that we'll be joining. So I'm going to say x is in the interval from, first one is negative infinity, then I get up to negative 2, and I'm going to put a parenthesis there because it doesn't include it. Then I'm going to write or, which you write with a u. u stands for or. And then 2 with a bracket because it's included in, in my set, all the way up to infinity. I hope you can see that. Okay? This U actually doesn't stand for OR, it stands for union, meaning it's the union of this and this together. Okay? But for all intents and purposes, it's, uh, it means OR. Okay? So I hope this uh, shows you the, rela the relationship between traditional ways of writing inequalities, number lines, and interval notations. And uh, see you next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.